So that's an excellent question. Um, we have completed um, a, a phase two study, which is an early study, um, in pediatric patients um, who were given this drug um, in an open label um, fashion, um, did not have a control arm. Um, it was primarily a PK study, pharmacokinetic study, but we were able to get uh, early efficacy and safety readouts from the study. Um, patients were treated for um, as a single dose and then also as multiple dose where they received four injections of dupilumab weekly. And um, we saw um, very good efficacy in the small study um, of pediatric patients. We are embark embarking upon um, a larger phase three trials this year in several groups of um, pediatric patients. So we're very excited about um, um, dupilumab spermis in um, the pediatric population. As you're aware, um, atopic dermatitis is actually more prevalent mm -hmm. in the pediatric age group. And uh, there's a lot of misery um, that's associated with uh, pediatric atopic dermatitis, not only for the patients who are involved, uh, who are you know, suffering from um, the um, condition, but also for caregivers as well as parents who have to look after this very, very, um, sometimes very miserable um, patients. I would say it would be revolutionary in terms of patient care for, um, for um, patients who have moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. Um, you know, there really has not been, um, you know, an approved systemic treatment um, for moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. Um, we have uh, corticosteroids that are sometimes mm -hmm. used, um, but have not, are not approved for long-term use. Um, in patients with atopic dermatitis. Uh, dupilumab um, certainly will be, uh, I would say, a uh, very revolutionary treatment you know, for patients who have moderate to severe uh, atopic dermatitis. Um, not only does it, uh, has it shown efficacy and, um, in atopic dermatitis, it also has shown efficacy in related atopic conditions such as asthma, okay. um, nasal polyps, um, Nasopolyposis, uh, and we also have a study ongoing in uh, using of esophagitis. So, not only in atopic dermatitis do we have a lot of um, excitement for dupilumab, but you know, in related atopic conditions, um, uh, we think that it would or it could revolutionise the treatment of atopic and allergic conditions.